Hey, welcome to this episode of Scrappy Air Trappers. I know it's been a while since I posted. Kind of redoing the channel a little bit. Going through things. Starting a whole new chapter of Scrappy Air Productions. And let's get started right now. So me and TJ and my fiance, Chelsea, went down to Ohio and we picked up two of these. So let me show you picking up the black one right now. So the black one's a 70, this is a 69. We also grabbed this. We might blow away today. First up, new battery. Got power. Sweet. Alright, let's see if she'll start. Got a <laughs> Yeah, I think this will clean up nice. But this is a 92. Look how clean that headliner is. It's amazing. We're gonna get this on the road. I'm gonna work my magic on this. It's clean. We're actually gonna detail this, fix the brake lines, do whatever else maintenance it needs, and then it's going bye-bye. Won't be a staple of the channel or anything, but I'll bring you along for cleaning it up. We're pretty good at what we do, and this car is gonna be beautiful when it's done. Now this one on the other hand, I got a lot of work ahead of myself. Rocker's already on, I think that has to come back off to do the inner rocker first. Because there is no inner rocker left. That's right here, this piece down here. This is the rocker for the other side. I'll show you that in a second. Got a decent hood. Now the thing that disappoints me a little bit about this truck is this patina was beautiful. This is perfect. This is exactly what I want in one of these trucks. So we're gonna recreate it the best we can on the rest of the truck, cause somebody sandblasted it and then it sat somewhere for a really long time. Now I gotta go re get it reblasted. I think that's gonna be the best way to really tackle this. And then we'll epoxy coat it afterwards or seal coat it so that way this doesn't happen again. I got a lot of work ahead of myself with this one. That's just sitting on there. So I gotta figure out where to put all the spot welds and if I gotta put the front end on when I put this on to make sure it aligns, I don't know. We're gonna start with the frame though. That's the plan, gotta pull this bed off. Get the frame black, maybe air ride it. 50-50 on that, it's like 1300 bucks for a cheap airbag kit for this. It's what I want though, is air ride. I want a nice cruiser. This truck is not gonna be the fastest thing ever, but it's gonna be low. And I can just want to hop in it and drive it to Mackinac City if I want. So let me show you some of the parts. We've got two brand new fenders, which I'm not sure why they got two because this fender right here 
And the driver's side, or this is the driver's side fender, and it's in really good shape. Passenger side, yeah, not so much. So I might actually try to not find another factory fender that might need a little rust repair or something right here and get that and save the two black ones for the other truck. Grill, pretty decent shape. Not cracked or broke. Got a couple little whammies in it, but that's, that's okay. This truck is not getting restored. It's getting put back together, basically. See, the... Somebody sanded this whole side down, which is a shame. Because the blue over the red, perfect patina. It's gone. Unfortunately. Just left with bare metal and rust. So, gotta redo the doors. I got door skins for them. They're pretty rough. See, this one's got some holes in it. Gotta fill in these holes. So basically, this truck, I'm going to show you how to build something really cool but also really cheap. We're gonna try to keep it under three grand on this whole entire build. It's a lot, because this truck is missing a bunch of parts, like a core support. Obviously, I gotta get a, I have a motor, I got a 5.3, and I have a 4L80, but they're on different, out of different year vehicles, and a 4L80 never came behind a 5.3. So I have no idea what we're gonna do to make that work. If it's even possible, if it's not possible, I'm gonna have to find a 60 or something. No idea. So you're going to come along on that journey of figuring it all out. And then we're going to have one of the most badass, cheapest 69 C10s on the planet. Oh, really cool, fun, random fact about this truck. Factory 16-inch rims. This was a heavy-duty half-ton. So it has overload springs. Came with factory 16s, which I'm going to leave the 16s on it. Which I think they're pretty cool. I just want this truck to tuck tire and be as close to the ground as possible. I'd really like it to lay frame, but I ain't doing that right now. To make one of these trucks lay frame, you gotta change the back suspension and you gotta do a bunch of work to it. And that's just... So let's go check out the other truck. So hi, right, this is my Black 70. This is gonna be my new daily driver. Yep, that's right. I'm gonna daily this. It needs to go that way like two inches i'd say front and back i'm gonna do a full walk around on this in the video about it but let's just say it's rotten it's like very rotten yep those are all spare parts for the 69 the one i was just showing you it's got some stuff going on we'll discuss in the next video it does have a motor it does have a transmission we're gonna do a will it run on the motor i'll show you that later i don't want to ruin the surprise of what's hiding underneath this hood so yeah it's rotten it'll eventually get built i have a whole nother floor for the for this truck already and i have fenders for it so we just gotta do something with that bed because that bed is junk so as i'm going around giving updates update on this gone giving this to tj he's gonna help me with the trucks get them done and in exchange i'm gonna give him this i sold 12 valve sold the frame we're gonna do completely different direction with it i really wanted those trucks instead of this race car still hibernating big announcement time ready do, 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 do. cletus and cars like happening again also wardrobe changes the next day but cletus and cars i'm gonna be there doing the burnout contest so this car has to get out and get ready on top of the black truck getting ready for me to drive in the caprice getting ready to be sold this needs to be gotten out gone through it needs a radiator a new power steering pump pretty much go through the front suspension i want to get it race ready because there's a race a couple weeks after but please the cars in indianapolis you better be there come watch me do the burnout contest and hopefully win this unfortunately sitting for probably until next summer but next year that's got to happen i didn't get this car out to let it sit i have a door skin for it gonna get some other parts probably together for it just to make it look nice the biggest thing is just having the money to build the boner like i can't build two trucks go race and figure eight and build this car just not gonna happen too many things so well thanks for watching this episode of scrap air choppers next episode we're gonna start on either the black truck or the caprice i don't know why i held three fingers up there but we're gonna get started on one of those two 
we're either going to get the caprice cleaned up and do some brake lines or we're going to go over the black truck and try to make it run so i'll see you next time uh -huh.